Good morning. Welcome to Medical Monday. It's Dr. Beebe. I just wanted to answer a recent question that someone asked um, uh, to maybe explain a little bit about growing pains and how we can think about growing pains. So growing pains are very common in children. Uh, we see them uh, all the time, almost every uh, young uh, school age, young school, usually elementary school age kids, but between four and uh, maybe two to, to four or five, typically, that's gonna be the age of growing pains. So the easiest way to think about growing pains is, do they have pain in the morning when they wake up? That's the question. Uh, typically, growing pains are going to be, they're running around all day, they're crazy busy, they're playing, you know, sports or running around, having a busy day, and they're crying at bedtime because their legs hurt, and they want you to rub them, and we can put on some, some heat, either a heating pad or a hot water bottle. I prefer the hot water bottle because you can just fill it up with hot tap water and let them put it on their legs, and, and they will feel better, but when they wake up, growing pains and uh, the pains from being active in the day should be gone. Uh, when you and I wake up, we hurt the most, right? The morning is the worst time. You wake up, everything hurts. And then if you get up, you walk around a little bit, you feel better. Uh, kids wake up, they feel fine. Um, and so think about it that way. Um, when we see younger children waking up with pain, getting up limping or complaining when they first wake up about pain, you should come in and be seen for that. That's not a normal thing. That means they have some kind of injury or some other process going on. But pain, even to the point of crying at bedtime, but that's relieved in the morning when they wake up, that's just growing pains. Treat it with hot water bottles or heating pads or rubbing. You don't have to uh, use Tylenol or Motrin for that. In fact, I would discourage that because they may do this for months on end and that will hurt their stomach and we don't want to give them that much medicine. So try to do it with just uh, helping them massage their legs or uh, some heat. And I think hopefully that will help you out, but at least give you an approach to it. Have a great Monday.